<laughs> and this is all a big bluff. <laughs> this is called a hognose snake. Um, this one is uh, not a venomous snake like a copperhead, um, even though it may look like it's dangerous, especially that bluff it just did. Um, this one's used to people. This kind of snake usually goes through a whole act of bluffing. The fearsome looking hognose snake is Virginia's best actor, putting on a show guaranteed to frighten off most predators. If spreading his hood, hissing, and striking doesn't scare you away, plan B is to roll over and play dead. Once the coast is clear, he'll again roll over and crawl away. There are three species of venomous snakes in Virginia, the copperhead, the cottonmouth, and the timber rattlesnake. These species all play a valuable role in the ecosystem and should be left alone as they are normally not aggressive towards humans. The copperhead is the only venomous snake found throughout all of Virginia. They can be recognized by their copper-colored head and the hourglass pattern on their bodies. The timber rattler is only found in remote areas like this rocky outcropping in Virginia's western mountains. Amazingly, an isolated population of rattlers also exists in a small area of eastern Virginia. This group is known as canebrake rattlesnakes. Department biologists trying to protect this remnant population of eastern rattlers must brave overgrown, thick swamps and use special equipment to track and study these snakes. Basically, because they're, they're so cryptic and they're so hard to find, um, you really can't study them without this equipment. Um, basically, we do surgery on the animal and we implant a, um, a transmitter inside of them. It's about the size of a AA battery and it has about an antenna about the length of a foot. So we actually implant this transmitter inside them and run the antenna up the side of their body. Then we suture them back up. We use this receiver um, to come out here and track the signal. So the transmitter that we're putting in the snake is only sending out a constant signal and we use the receiver to pick up that signal and locate where they're at. The antenna just amplifies the signal that's being sent out. And it has a range of about four or 500 yards um, maximum. And with this, we're able to tell, you know, as we approach, when we're like two meters from the snake, we're able to tell that and we can get a direction. And then we do just pretty much stand there and stare until we can actually see the snake. And there's a lot of times where, you know, I come up and I know it's dead in front of me and it's three meters ahead of me and I still have to stand there. That's one of the things that amazes most people when they come out to the site is to stand there and have me tell them, you know, once I finally see the snake, to say, all right, the snake is, you know, it's, it's three meters ahead, it's sitting right there, it's underneath that branch and, you know, just tell them exactly where it's at. And it amazes them that they still have to stand there and stare for that long to just pick out the pattern. Where is he? So he's dead ahead, about three meters, sitting in the leaf litter, coiled up. Okay, let me see if I can find him here. He's pretty bright. He stands out pretty oh, well. There he he's is. freshly shed. Oh, yeah, brilliant. And that's a pretty decent sized male right there. Let's take a look at the camouflage on some other snakes. Now you see him. Now you don't. Both reptiles and amphibians are important predators that help keep our ecosystem in balance by eating insects, rodents, and other small animals. The common American toad loves to feast on insects like ants. Whoa! Let's check that out in slow motion. The black rat snake is one of Virginia's most common snakes. And a lot of these animals are actually good pest control, natural pest control. The black snake, with its appetite for mice, is welcome in barns and outbuildings throughout their range. The black rat snake uses constriction to quickly kill the mouse and then extends its jaws to swallow it whole. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> this one's very active. The big pine snake, which lives in the western part of Virginia, wraps things up for the scouts. 
Well, I thought it was cool to see all the different salamanders because I really like salamanders and learn about them. My favorite animal was the tiger salamander because it was slimy and um, and it has a cool pattern. When I go to my um, my cousin's house, we always go to like this little puddle and it has like thousands of salamanders. I like the albino salamander because it was white and had pink eyes. I liked the pine snake because it would hiss a lot and I just like snakes. Virginia has a rich diversity of reptiles and amphibians and has the diverse habitats that support them. 61 species of reptiles live here, from sea turtles living off the Atlantic coast to snakes living in the Blue Ridge Mountains. 74 species of amphibians can be found in our state. Reptiles and amphibians need the right combination of food, water, shelter, and space in order to exist. The Department of Game and Inland Fisheries is concerned about a third of Virginia's reptiles and amphibians because their habitats are disappearing or becoming polluted. Virginia's Wildlife Action Plan will monitor their numbers and attempt to keep them from declining to the point when they'd be considered endangered. The next time you take a look outside and find a reptile or amphibian in your backyard, remember the important place these creatures have in the ecosystem. Never disturb them, but enjoy watching them from a distance.